April vaccine deadline looming for many care facilities. Hiring qualified nurses is becoming more of a challenge. News Force Gabriela Vidal gets, in, uh, gets into how a local group is using incentives to overcome this hurdle. We have had to work very diligently to staff our, all of our facilities. A long-standing problem in nursing homes across the state and in the metro region, access to workers. Everyone is under enormous pressure to find, to attract and retain staff. Eileen Caffey with Bethesda Health Group says in the efforts to retain and hire more nursing staff at their facilities, this year they started prioritizing a new contingent nurse staffing program. Nurses hired to jump from facility to facility as needed. So we give them a flexible schedule. We also give them a little bit of extra money. And in exchange, they will go wherever we need them to go when we need them to go. We've actually been able to hire some nurses back that left us too, which was kind of interesting. All Bethesda staff members were required to be vaccinated back in November, minus those with medical or religious exemptions. But for other facilities without those policies, an existing federal vaccine mandate could potentially threaten staffing. Everyone working at a CMS certified community will have to uh, be have their second dose of a two dose regimen by March 15th. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid or CMS data shows Missouri still ranked last for staff vaccination rates in assisted living facilities at 70.6%. And a couple of CMS facilities in the metro region have only 30% or fewer staff members vaccinated. I can tell you that some long-term care communities have closed, whether it was 100% related to staffing or not, I cannot say. Bill Bates with Leading Age Missouri says there's also a growing concern staffing agencies are price gouging facilities for access to their talent pool. There have been situations where staffing agencies will make offers to pay nurses working at a nursing home more money and then turn around and offer them back at higher rates to the very same community that they just left. Places like Bethesda Health Group have been able to stay competitive with staffing agency prices by offering competitive pay and flexibility similar to a nurse travel agency. Well, now we've got somewhere, uh, an area that we can pull from and bring those people in to fill, this, to fill the need. Gabriella Vidal, News 4.